You want some? So, so every year, I hear about people that buy rabbits for their kids for Easter. And nothing makes me more angry. So, welcome to my channel. As some of you know, or hopefully all of you know, I only use cruelty-free products on my channel. And I have always wanted to do like a bunny kind of look. And Easter's coming. And... There's no way you should be buying a rabbit on Easter. There's just there's just no reason for it. Um, unless you're prepared and ready to have a 10 plus year commitment of a wonderful animal with, that takes a lot of work to take care of. So, on that note, let's turn me into a bunny. To start off, I'm gonna do like a fluffy brow and I'm just gonna spray some hairspray onto a spoolie and just comb my brow straight up. I'm gonna jump straight into some black eyeshadow. You can use whatever you want um, or like a lighter brown if you wanna do a lighter brow. But I'm going to use black eyeshadow because I find that it just does what I want it to do unlike some other kind of brow products. So, I'm just taking some on an angle brush and just doing some short little upward strokes. And going straight up as I get towards the front. I'm gonna do that one real quick. I'll see you in a second. I'm just going to clean that up and prime my eyes with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer in the shade 6. And I'm just going to go right underneath them and make them a little bit straighter. And I'm also going to prime my eyes. We're going to use some sugar pill shadows today, as always. And we're going to start off with pink. So this is going to be like a pink cut crease with a blue lid because Easter. So I'm going to start with packing on Dolly Pop right in my crease. And I'm going to make it kind of like a very drag style shape. Just like mirror the shape of my eye just right above my crease. And then I'm going to kind of dip down just a little bit and drag it out like so and I'm gonna bring that all the way down as well and out and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit okay dokie I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit with love plus just like right along that crease and I'm going to tell you what brush I'm using because this brush is phenomenal and it's a little bit dirty right now. So I'm just going to wipe it off. But this brush is really great for cut creases. This is the Lexi 131 Mini Angled Brush. And it's just fantastic for cut creases. So I'm just going to dip into Love Plus by Sugar Pill. And I'm just going to pack it right on top of... That other shade and don't worry about getting it on your lid because we're going to cut the crease in just one moment. And it's nice because you can flip it the other way and just kind of like blend a little bit. I'm going to carry this all the way out for the drama, you know. So we're going to take that same concealer brush, so I start by doing like a normal kind of cut crease, normal size, like so, and then I look straight ahead because I have kind of hooded eyes, I look straight ahead, and I want it to be super, super dramatic, so for a regular cut crease I'd probably leave it about here, but 
But since it's a drama look, I'm just going to, while, while my eyes open, just place my brush right at the top where I'm going to cut it. So, so that's my marking point. And that's going to be the tippy top. Okay. Also from Sugar Pill, I'm just gonna take the Little Twin Stars palette and the shade Cloud Maker, which is this shimmery blue right here, and start packing. And you know what? I'm gonna take my finger first. And it's so beautiful and magical. I'm just going to stamp it on with my finger first to get the most color impact out of it. And then go in with my brush and just get the little detailed areas. Amazing. We're doing amazing, sweetie. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Into the Blue. Guys. 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 Um, I'm going to sweep this on my whole lid. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. NYX Epic Ink Liner. We're just gonna do a big fat wing. And I'm just gonna sketch it out with this. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. cream gel liner and a little liner brush and I'm gonna fill it in. And now I'm gonna go over it with the NYX liner. I know this is a lot. It really does make a difference though. Amazing. Okay, I am going to pop on my lashes. I'll see you in just a second. Hello. So these are the Style Asher and Radiance and I stacked them together. And they are ridiculously large and a little heavy, but I am in love with them. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go in with the Complexion Rescue Defense um, from Bare Minerals. Just to give me a nice glowy base to start with. And ignore Susan over here. Um, ouch, Susan. Leave me alone. Thanks. And we are going to wear today... The Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, and I wear the shade, oh my god, light medium sand, sorry. <laughs> Next we're going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light sand, and just right under the eyes. Going back in with that Lexi brush from before and Dolly Pop and I'm just packing that right on down, right on the outer corner. I'm just going to take Taco, which is the white color from Sugar Pill. I'm just going to pack it in that empty space and right underneath it. Right here and right next to it. I'm going to take the Essence um, Rock and Doll eyeliner pen and you kind of have to like get it get the product out and then use the little ballpoint. So I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to do a couple dots down here.
Well, that one's just going to be a little bit bigger. So now we're going to start to getting to like the more fantasy, I guess, part of it. Um, I'm going to take that same color Dolly Pop that we've been using and just give myself a little bunny nose. And I have bunnies, if you didn't know that. Um, that's why I'm like so gung-ho about this look. Um, I love them. Hopefully I can get Tito to come say hi for just a second, maybe. I don't know. He doesn't really like being held, but we'll see. So I'm going to take the shadow and just go right on the tip of my nose. And a little bit upwards. Like that. Cute. I'm just gonna blend it out just a little bit. Oh my god, this is getting so exciting. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on my Cupid's bow. Um, I'm going to put on a lot of blush, which is normal, but like a lot of blush. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to contour just a little bit with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Duo. And this beautiful brush from Luxie also. This is the Tapered Highlighter brush, but it's also really nice for contour. And I'm just going to dip that right in and contour out my cheeks. Amazing. So quick and easy. And I'm going to do the same right underneath my jaw. And we're going to use that same shadow because it's going to look crazy and amazing. And here we go. Um, this brush is from Morphe. I'm going to mix the two shades. Actually, I'm just going to mix all three of them. And... Just go to town right on the lower apples of my cheeks. We're going to try this one. This is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick and Throwback Jam. And I'm going to overline and we're just doing the upper lip. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to do that. Oh my god, what a reflex. Okay, I had to wipe this off anyway. Um, I'm wiping off my bottom lip. And I'm actually going to bring out the top just a little bit more. Yeah. And for the bottom, this is the Tarte um, Tardis Lip Paint in Rosé, and it's just a nude. And I'm going to keep under there, and I'm just blotting it so they don't like transfer on each other. And I'm just going to put a couple of little dots, um, just to kind of like... Make it look kind of like I'm a bunny. I'm going to take the same shade that I used in my brows, just a black color. And just a couple of like freckly dots. Just on my cheeks and not on my nose. But this is Tino. He's a lot of work. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching once again. Um, if you like this look, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. And I will see you over there. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.